guys, it's Borgson. Hello, welcome to my channel if you're new here. Welcome back if you've been here before. So today, guys, I'm going to do my What I Want for Christmas 2023 video. So my Christmas 2023 wish list video. So guys, I want to say this is not everything I want. I have a list of 12 things. It's not. Not all, nowhere near them. All of them are actually accurate. For further ado, guys, let's get into the video. <laughs> if you guys know anything about me, know that I love Noah Galvin right now. I'm like, oh, that is my man. If he ever breaks up with Ben Platt, Noah, let me know. <laughs> so, hey, guys, no, I'm serious. I literally have, I want Noah Galvin on the top of the list. Like, I want Noah Galvin. You can't see because it's dark in here. But I want Noah Galvin. He's handsome. Uh, oh, he can cook. He has a way to heart a woman's heart is through her stomach. So, mm, want me some Noah? Okay, guys. I know that that's not realistic. I'm not gonna post a picture of Noah on here. I wish I could without getting copyright claimed, but I don't want to post this picture up. Well, guys, I can't have Noah without Ben. <laughs> So, like I said before, guys, my, my thing for Noah has spread to bad promises and all boys. The first, like, four are boys. After that is actual stuff I could get. Maybe maybe 13 things. There's something else I want to. But I can't remember. Okay, guys. So, guys, I went Ben Platt. Ow! Oh, ooh, guys. Mm, guys, real footage just popped my wrist. Oh, is it out of place? No, it's not. Ooh, okay, guys. I went Ben Platt. Uh, I would show you guys if I turn the camera and my fingers gashed open so if I were on the phone and not the tablet. I want Ben Platt. I can't have Noah without I can't have Ben without Noah. I can't have Noah without Ben and their boyfriend their husband they're almost husbands and they're like their their fiancés, so might as well have them both. And then I want Spencer Borkson. <laughs> um probably the fourteen thing example at Spencer. I, I know that sounds really weird to be naming off men that I want for Christmas, but they're all good looking guys and I mean come on guys his former the performance of Dean Winchester the second was oh my gosh guys he's a handsome man. I showed my dad a picture of him. My dad like, you know, honey, for coming from a straight man to say this, he's handsome and I was like, Thanks, Dad, I know. It was that one second when he said he kinda of looked like my brother and I got a little freaky for that moment. <laughs> So, yes, guys, and you can only imagine. It's a family channel, so I'm not going to say what I want these boys for. <laughs> um, I don't know, guys. Sorry, you guys. I coughed. Fourth, and this is 22 more guy things left. And put out. I want Mike Feist. And that's not funny when I mean for Christmas, but guys, mm -mm. I love his long hair and his younger, his eyes. He's a good looking dude. Doesn't look 100% great compared to some of the other guys on this list, but he is still cute. But I know I can't have Mike Feist. Uh, he's probably married by now anyway, so he's the same age as me. Probably the only, like, celebrity or actor boy I assume I like that's remotely even close to my age. So that's... No, no and Ben are pretty close to my age, but Mike's, like, exactly almost the same age as me. Guys, oh boy. <sighs> Guys, this is like 5 o'clock on Christmas morning, so I am a little bit, a little bad at it, guys. I've been wrapping gifts all day. Other than Mike Feist, what else do I want for Christmas? Oh, something that's not a man in a parade. I want a Rainbow High Kim doll. And I'm pretty sure I'm getting her. Rainbow High Kim. She's really pretty. She's the dark haired from um, Rainbow High. Um... I think she's the third, she's the fifth installment. I'm not sure, guys, but she's really pretty. She has a sewing machine. She's really cute. And I was like, I need this. I need this Kim doll. Who is she? So I need Kim. She's very pretty and very cute. And the train of Rainbow High. I went Rainbow High Michelle. She's the orange girl. I'm sorry, it's green. Orange. Is her, so guys, you guys know that I get orange and green mixed up. Not because of colors, but because of the words and the names due to my dyslexia. I think Michelle looks cute. She comes with a little makeup case and all that. Like she looks really, really, really cute. They both look like they'd be really fun dolls. And if I get them, I will do unboxing videos on them pretty much. Uh, I went, and this, this is all in the doll category, guys. I want Down Syndrome Barbie. The Down Syndrome special needs Barbie. I want her. So bad. She's so pretty. Um, I'm not gonna lie. She does kind of remind me of Leah. 
um, a classmate that I knew in school. Guys, back when I was in high school, by the way, they had some class where everyone was in together. So I was trying to make friends with a girl named Leah who had special needs in my class, who I believe had Down syndrome, but I'm not sure. So when I when I seen Down, when I seen the Barbie, like she reminds me of Leah. I gotta get her. I have no hard feelings for Leah. She's the only person, almost one of the only people from high school. I have no hard feelings for. <laughs> I want holiday. This, this is the one that hurts. I was almost crying over. I want holiday Barbie 2023. I have a holiday Barbie collection. If I would get her, guys, I'm going to do a big all my holiday Barbie collection videos. I won't be deboxing her. Probably not. But she's really, really beautiful. And I'm not showing any of these dolls pictures for copyright or to men for copyright claim. <laughs> but she's really, really beautiful. Her gowns, her dress. Nine, I want stuffed animals. There's a particular brand that I want, but I'm like, girl, you have too many toys. I have so many dolls, animals, action figures, Barbies. I have a house full of toys. Like, no, Borks, no, no more toys, but I still want them. Dad was like, no, no, no more Borks, in, but then he gets them for me. So, guys, that was my old Supernatural listing video. Talk about. Um, I want a baby born doll. I love baby born. They're getting really, really hard to find them in stores. We feed them and they do wet. They do pee pee and they change their pampers and all. I've loved that doll since I was seven. My childhood ones are over there Samantha, Aaron, and Leonardo. So I'd like to get another one before they completely discontinue the doll. I don't know. I might have already gotten her. Santa came already. Okay, guys, this isn't an inappropriate label area. I want Dr. Asher from The Good Doctor, played by Noah Galvin. I want him. He is what I want. Um, I know I don't want to get too graphic because this channel is meant to be like anyone can watch it. But guys, Dr. Asher is my dream man. I don't care on this show. He's supposed to be gay and so is this actor. But he's just so cute. And I, I know this sounds a little mean. But there's almost a part of me that likes Asher more than Noah. <laughs> even in my dreams, guys, I do. I do think I prefer Asher to Noah. Even in my dreams, I prefer Asher. Has more like an innocent boy charm, and Noah says things that we ain't gonna get into in this video or any video. If you guys want to see more of my videos? I did do a video about having, you know, a crush on Doctor Asher, and I did a video about having a crush on Noah Galvin. I haven't done the Ben Platt one yet or the Mike Feist one yet because. That's just, I don't know how much I want to share on this internet. <laughs> Make myself sound off. Um, I want an American Girl book. I love the American Girls. You guys have seen my videos. So I got mad. I'm with styles, stuffed animals, and action figure. Protective services would be after me right now, guys. Spin the camera around. Holiday Barbie 2022 is on top of Cheryl from um, Madame Alexander. My Madame Alexander doll. Like, I didn't mean to do it that way. So, guys, um, another thing, number 13 I want is a very sad thing, but I know I can never have it, kind of like Polly Barbie. Um, I know that every Christmas, me and my parents would celebrate Christmas together, and we'd, my family and I would get together, I was going to celebrate Christmas and all, guys. But in the last few years, since my dad's gotten sick, I know it sounds crazy. It sounds awful. My friends even some carrying it. Like you just sound like you're mourning. Um, I wish I could have old dad back, even if it was just for an hour or two. We unwrap the gifts as we get Christmas dinner. And I kind of had a little fit earlier, and I kind of upset daddy. But I, I don't mean doing that, guys, because I don't know. He did it could be my latest Christmas, and you're upsetting me. I'm like, oh my god, like we're hard hearing that. Anyway, guys, I want to have cancer free daddy back. Yeah, and this, this breaks my heart when I say this, because he's basically the same as cancer-free dad. It's just now he's got a little bit of cancer. So guys, I want to wake up and have OG dad back without cancer. Without my Athemi Gravis, I wouldn't know him, so I wouldn't, I don't want, I don't want not my Athemi Gravis dad, because I don't know, I wouldn't know who that is. My dad's had that condition his whole life. But I want pre-sick dad, pre-cancer sick dad, not pre my Athemi Gravis. That that person never existed. My dad's had it a full life. I want pre cancer dad. I want to go back five to seven years before and just be able to just enjoy one Christmas, one last Christmas with pre sick dad before 
to dad came. And I understand it, guys. This is really selfish for me to say this. But yeah, I want to, I miss the daddy I grew up with. I miss the pre-cancer dad. I know that's really sad to say that at Christmas, but I do. I'm Christmas shoes, guys. Remember that. So, and it breaks my heart. I know that one tears in my eyes saying this, but I miss pre-cancer dad. I know, I know he's still here through other dad, but you know the dad I have now, but Guys, like I said, too, pre-cancer dad, sadly, what I call my father. And obviously, before he was diagnosed with cancer. I miss that version of him, even though I have the version now. But I would never say that that's face. There's the nights where I've cried because I just I miss him so much. And I know that version of dad's in heaven with mom. But that's what I would like. I don't miss I'll cry. That's what I want. If I could only just have an hour left with him. Because I know he's never coming back. From heaven, that at least that version of my dad. Like I, like I, my friends even said, you know, your father's still with us. That's very, you know, a hot thing to say. But I mean, I mean, please sit, dad. And the last thing on my list is I'm really weird to say that. Fourteen last thing is I want Dean Winchester to second. Now the same thing that emotional gave myself like starting to cry and all. It's kind of sad, but yeah, I know I have a house for fence forks and it's really creepy. <laughs> Actually, guys, I want to address it. How am I mentioned Spencer Borgson? My name is a coincidence. Um, I was Borgson long before I heard of him. So I just want to clarify that, guys. I'm sorry, I got my little misty. Okay, guys, this is the end of the video. If you guys want to comment down below what you guys want for Christmas, remember to comment, like, share, or subscribe. Go and hit that bell. It's like every time I upload, remember. Till the end. No next upload video. I love you all. Bye, guys.